All right, so the first step is to get hosting for our new e-commerce website. Hosting is simply a server where all of your website files will be stored. And that server also runs 24 seven so that at any time people can visit and shop on your website. Now I've tried many different hosting providers and the one that I've stuck with is called Hostinger. That's the one I've been using for a very long time and I've also been recommending it for a very long time and I've never had any issues. Now I've also partnered up with Hostinger and I was able to get you an additional discount on the already discounted price. So to get that discount, you wanna make sure to click on the first link down below in the video description. This is my referral link. And once you click on that link, you'll get to this page right here. Now by using that link, I will get a commission for referring you to Hostinger, but in turn, you will get the best price possible to get hosting with Hostinger. So once you are here on my custom landing page, what you wanna do is click on claim deal and then it'll scroll down to the different plans. So the plan that I recommend for an e-commerce website is the business plan mainly for a few reasons, one being that you get more storage, which can become handy, especially if you have more products with more product images or even videos. Then you also get the CDN feature, which means that your website will be stored on multiple servers across the globe, which will increase the average load time, which is known to increase user experience and also conversion rates on your store. And then here you can also see that you get some basic WooCommerce features. WooCommerce is a plugin that we'll use to turn your website into an online store, an e-commerce website. And here on this plan, you get some additional WooCommerce features. Now, if you're a bit on a tighter budget, you can also look at the premium plan and follow along with this tutorial, no problem. But if you're looking for the best performance, then I would go with the business plan right here. So let's click on add to cart. And here on the next step, we can choose our payment period, which means how many months in advance we wanna pay for our hosting. Now, the more you pay in advance, the cheaper it's gonna be on average. So the cheapest option is gonna be the 48 months option where you'll pay $3.99 per month. And then after four years, you'll pay $8.99 per month. So if you're serious about your website and you know that you're gonna be using it for a long time, then I recommend to go with this option. But if you have a bit of a lower budget or you don't know if you're gonna be using your website for this long, then you can also look at one of the other plans right here. I would just at least go with the 12 months option because for the one month, you have a $5 setup fee and you also don't get the free domain for the first year. So I'm gonna choose the 12 months option because I'm just gonna be creating this website for this video and I'm not gonna be using it anymore afterwards. So once you choose your payment period, you can scroll down and enter your email address and a password. Once that's done, we can scroll further down to the payment options. Now, before we're gonna choose our payment option, let's scroll down a bit further and click on have a coupon code. And then here you wanna enter the coupon code Medix Media and click on apply. And this will give you an additional 10% off of your hosting price. And now you can go ahead and choose your payment method right here enter all of your details and click on submit secure payment. Then once the payment is complete, we get to the onboarding sequence. Now to save some time, we're gonna go straight into the hosting or dashboard and set everything up there. And I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. So let's go to the dashboard by clicking on the hosting or icon here at the top and then confirm by clicking leave. And here, the first thing we wanna do is confirm the email address we have used to sign up for Hostinger. So go to your email inbox and then look for an email from Hostinger saying verify your email address, then click on it and just click on verify email. And this will take us back to the WordPress dashboard so we can close these other two tabs up here. Now let's move on to the next step, which is setting up our domain name. Our domain name is simply the name of our website. So for Apple, it's apple.com. For Facebook, it's facebook.com. And we also wanna have our own branded domain. Now, if you don't know what your domain is gonna be yet, then you can also skip this and go to the next step, which is installing WordPress you can just skip by using the timestamps down below. 
but if you know what domain you want to use or you just want to look for some domain names, you can just follow along right now. So because you have chosen the 12 or more months plan, we can choose a domain name for free for the first year by clicking on claim domain right here. And here we first want to choose our domain extension. So here at the end of the domain, we can choose between .in, .me, .com, .fun and so on. Now I would highly recommend to use a .com domain because it's the one people are used to and it's the one that looks the most legit. So I'm going to choose a .com domain and then I'm going to type in the name I want to use right here. So for this store, I'm going to try Maddox Fashion because it's going to be a fashion store and then click on check availability. And as we can see, this domain is still available so I can get it for my new website. But if the name you wanna go for is not available, what you can do is just try different variations of your brand name, or you can also use a different domain extension. I would just try to keep your domain name as easy, simple and short as possible and also easy to remember. So once you've found your domain name, you can just click on claim domain. And now to register our new domain, we have to enter some contact details. So here, choose your country, and then you can either enter your personal contact details, or if you have a company, you can also enter your company contact details. Click on next step, and then enter your details here, and click on finish registration. Once that's done, let's click on continue. And then we can see an offer for web hosting, but because we already have hosting for our website, we can ignore this and just click on skip, I don't need a website. And now to complete our domain registration, we have to confirm our email address once again. So let's go to our email inbox and then look for an email saying important, verify your contact information for our domain. And then here we can just open the email and click on this link right here. And here we can see your email address has been verified successfully. So we can close this window and also our email inbox. And then we can reload the page and we can see that our new domain is now active. Now we can move on to the next step, which is installing WordPress. So let's click on home in the top menu. And then here we can see the hosting plan that we have purchased. Let's click on setup. And here we're gonna first have to answer a few questions. So let's say we're gonna create this website for myself or my business and click on next. Then we're gonna create a new website and click next. And then here we can choose between WordPress and their own hosting or website builder. We wanna use WordPress. So we're gonna choose WordPress with AI and click on create with WordPress. Then we have to create our WordPress account this is gonna be the account that you'll use to log in to your WordPress dashboard, which is the backend of your website. I recommend to use the same email as you've used with your hosting account and then just choose a password. Then click next. And here for the website type, we're gonna choose online store and click next. And here Hostinger wants to offer us some pre-built themes and templates but we're gonna be doing all that later on WordPress. So we're just gonna click on skip. And here they ask us if we want to have some pre-installed plugins on our WordPress website, but we wanna add everything manually later on WordPress itself. So I'm gonna choose no, I want to select plugins manually and click on next. And then here we can just choose the ones that we want. But again, we're just gonna do all that in WordPress itself. So I'm gonna unselect all these and click on skip. And the same thing here, we don't need any pre-generated content. So let's click on skip. Then we can choose the domain name we want to use for our WordPress website. And we can see the one that we have registered before. So I'm gonna choose this one. But if you don't already have a domain, you can also just click on use temporary domain and start building your website and add your domain later but I already have one and I'm gonna click on next. And here we can choose the location of the server where our website files will be stored. Like I've already mentioned, you wanna make sure that the server location is as close to your customers as possible because this will increase the loading speed of your website. So if you have most customers in Europe, then you wanna choose a server location in Europe. 
If you have most customers from the United States, then you want to choose a server in the United States. But I have chosen the business plan for my hosting, so my website will be stored on multiple servers anyway, and it will just take the server that is closest to whatever visitor is checking out my website. So it doesn't really matter which server location I choose here, but if you have chosen the cheaper plan, the premium plan, then you wanna make sure to choose a server that is closest to your customers of your e-commerce website. So I'm gonna to stick to France and click on next. And now WordPress is being installed. All right, now WordPress has been installed and we are back in the hosting or dashboard. When we click on websites here in the top navigation menu, we can see our new website right here. And when we click on manage, we get to this interface here where we can manage the hosting for our website. So whenever you wanna change something, you can just come back here. 